I have been watching this snake right here for weeks out here inside of my pond. I have came out here and tried to hand feed it multiple times. And I was looking out the window a few moments ago and I seen it basking on a rock. I came outside, I snuck up on it. It went underneath the rock. I crept down, looked underneath the rock and I saw it laying underneath there. So I lifted the rock up and I caught the snake. This is just a water snake. And believe it or not, I can go back on my YouTube timeline and I am fairly certain that I have caught this snake before. It has not even bitten me. It has struck at me a few times, but it realizes now that I mean it no harm. And check it out. It is being very docile at the moment. Let me give you a shot of how orange its belly is up close. Check that out, isn't it beautiful? It has got a lot of girth. He has been, or he or she has been eating very well inside of my pond. Don't get in my face, buddy. So take a close look. Here in Cleveland, Tennessee, you will see an abundance of these right here, mostly around waterways, creeks, ponds, you name it. They often get mistaken for cotton mouse. They are not venomous. We do not have any cotton mouse here. Again, this is your common water snake. And you can see just how docile a wild snake can be once it realizes that you do not mean it any harm. Hopefully I can get this snake to become familiar with me and my voice and I aim to begin hand feeding it as I stated moments ago via fish that we catch here inside of the pond. We have quite a few green sunfish I am assuming that is what his diet has been consisting mainly of. He's a very pretty snake and I just wanted to show him off here on camera for a little bit. There's you another shot of his face up close. I appreciate you tuning in. I appreciate your time. And if you see these guys near your house, they are harmless. They are doing a lot more good than bad. I look forward to talking to each of you again inside that next video.